Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be installing some interior lights. Now, I've been looking for a brighter light for an interior option because Toyota just ain't cutting it. I've heard only great things about Miso Customs, so I bought both a dual dome light and a dual map light, red and white LEDs. Now, both of these are bought separate and they're just so simple to install, what we like to call a plug and play. So where you see the white line, that's where the red LED lights gonna be and then the yellow is gonna be where the white LED lights are gonna be take a look at the back I just love the way this is built that little thing that looks like a light bulb that's where that's gonna go in of replacing your light bulb in the dome I'm really digging how they have their company name branded on the back of this dome light you can tell they really take pride in their build and this is your map lights this is what's gonna go overhead now these come in a pair and if you look at the connection it almost looks like a USB now this install should take anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. It's a very simple one. Let's get to it. Now I got my trim tool set that I got from Amazon. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. These tools come in handy. Everyone should have this in their toolbox. Now as I insert these around the edges of this map light, I'm gonna go ahead and just work my fingers around the perimeter and they are gonna start making noise like you're breaking something. Believe me, that's just part of the whole deal. You're not breaking anything, it's just gonna pop right out. Next, you're gonna find your light bulbs, twist them to the left, remove them, and now I'm gonna show you how to remove these lights without breaking them and cutting your finger or busting the light. Now, you might be able to pull these off with your fingers using brute strength. These things are cinch locked in tight and nine times out of 10, you're gonna bust it and puncture a hole and start bleeding half to death. There's electrical tape, which is the best option. Just kind of wrap this around, leave some tail, and you'll be able to pull these out. So quick, so fast, so swift, so deep, your finger will probably catch fire. Now I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall those light bulb plugs that Toyota's so proud of and get ready to reinstall the dome light back into the headliner. And I'm gonna go ahead and whip out my trim removal tool that I'm so proud of. And I'm gonna insert the thin edge into the bottom of this panel here and start prying it nice and easy. You don't wanna break this if you're looking to resell it on eBay like I am. And go ahead and do this for both. So this is the right one. This is the driver's side. See how they're both the same. So you want to put these back in the same order. So when you go back, this is how I took it off. And this button right here is going to be facing the center. And then you just pop it in this way. Now it's time for me to plug that USB looking connector into the slot. And if the light doesn't turn on when I go to test it, then I just flip that around to the other side because the polarity is just reversed. Now, if you're sure and you're ready tested and the lights do work, go ahead and clip it in and you're gonna hear some clicks. And once it's flush, you're pretty much done with that side and go ahead and move on to the next. Now keep in mind, if you click on the larger portion of the square, that's gonna turn on and off the light. But if you click on the small little button, that's gonna change the color of the light. So now it's time to move on to the dome light. Now with my pry tool, I'm gonna go ahead and work my way around the dome light lens. 
and there's got they got some tabs in there you could either stick a screwdriver if you don't have the pry tool and just work your way around it come right off and that light bulb thought I can take it off with the pry tool but it's actually real easy you can take it off with your finger I go ahead and grab your dome light and as you can see the light plug from the Miso Customs is the same shape as the stock light bulb. All you have to do is install it up in the socket in the same way you remove the stock one and it should turn on. Test it. If it doesn't turn on uh, you might have accidentally turned the control to the dome light off during the install process. So. Once you're done, go ahead and stick that dome light into the bezel and click it in and it should turn right on. It truly is a thing of beauty. This uh, dome light is exceedingly bright. If you're looking at it, it will blind you. You would have that glare effect for a very long time. Now I'm going to test uh, both the red and the white light as I open the door and my first reaction when I see the red light is I think of that movie The Running Man Mars Arnold Schwarzenegger Ernesto this is so beautiful and the white light is just so bright man if you got migraines probably not a good option for you and on the other hand if you drop something very small like let's say a diamond earring you're going to find it in this thing it's going to shine so bright It'd probably knock you out of your seat. This thing exceeds my expectations. So happy I bought it because, man, there's nothing like having the means of looking for things. Now, don't mind the dog hair. It's cleaned up by now, but, man, I, it definitely warrants you to clean your rig because it does bring out all the imperfections. Now, I appreciate the red light especially when I'm coming off a very long shift and I don't need anything bright to kill me. This really sets the tone. It's very subtle, uh, calm, delicate, uh, still bright enough where you can find things, but not as bright whereas to annoy you. Now, if I had to rate this, I'd give it that emoji with the stars around the eyes just because I'm so content with this. Amazing Ingenuity Miso Customs. So stay up to date with some more of my content by subscribing to my channel got many more videos to dish out peace y'all